So, for transparency, there was a time in my life where I was considering freaking a pair of Uggs. I wanted to, the vision I had in my head was to buy a pair of Distress Vintage jeans, especially Levi's, maybe Yellow Tag Levi's, maybe Red Tag, it depends, and have them really be wide and baggy, really distressed and ripped, and have them just sitting on top of a pair of Uggs that are completely brand new with a nice denim check and a white t-shirt. Just essentially elevating and taking the Ugg from being the standard footwear that most chavvy girls wear when they want to go to the flipping offy run and elevating it to a level where it kind of turns into a streetwear luxury type of item that I can wear day to day and maybe even take it out there into the clubs and have something soft and warm and fuzzy on my feet. But obviously that didn't happen. But I do think this collaboration between Shane Oliver of Hood by Air fame and Ugg might be one of the best iterations I've seen of an Ugg in recent times. And maybe a good excuse for me to finally pull the trigger and get these Uggs into my wardrobe and start freaking them with my outfits because I absolutely love what Shane did with Uggs here. I really, really do. It's not Uggs, it's, I think it's Ugg. But anyway, let's continue. So this shoot features a pair of Uggs that Shane Oliver has decided to upgrade and turn essentially into a quasi faux motorcycle boot cowboy type boot type affair it's a pretty interesting way to sort of look at an ugg uh, something that you would again say is not something that you would first think of in terms of plowing the fields in terms of being a rugged boot that you'd wear on the horse or that you'd wear on the back of a quad bike or a motorbike he's essentially turned them into that or even something that would be you would kind of attribute to be a stepper a boot that would maybe be worn by a foot soldier or something think this is what he's turned it into and it's pretty incredible to see this um you know like done on a on a silhouette like an ugg or like on a shoe like an ugg but he's taken something really soft and turned it into something really really tough which i kind of like to be honest i'm really really a big fan of these um they're going to be the quiet taste because they do look kind of kind of naughty um, they maybe will be quite a challenge for most people to wear because like I said they do look like something that you would maybe ascribe to being a classic sort of motorcycle boot with this sort of shin guard and this sort of uh, four foot flap thing going on in the front here that kind of flips up you've got the Shane Oliver branding here in Boston on the side but I do like them they kind of remind me in a weird way also of those Balenciaga motocross boots that are obviously inspired by motocross boots themselves but they do have this similar kind of vibe to them but I do like the fact that they kind of all monochrome all one color so they're all blacks and they got all whites no crazy accents maybe they will come in the second season when these do really well but i do like how these effectively look and then you've also got a high version and you've also got a low version in the classic sort of shape with that strap and the territory and look all over them but i think these are going to be really successful i think people are going to be all over these i feel like these will end up resonating with a lot with the fashion crowd and i think it will also resonate with a lot with the people who are generally fans of uggs in general i think they'll look at these and be like like, hey these are pretty interesting these are pretty cool because i'm sure there are a community of people out there who are still wearing uggs even though they're not the most trendiest of shoes to wear nowadays and most people have kind of run away from them or maybe wear them in hiding i'm sure there's still a huge customer base of people who like to wear these things day to day i feel like crocs has kind of taken uggs as shine especially when it comes to cool collaborations but i love these i think these are really really well well done and it's also coming off the back of that really cool collaboration that they did with denim tears those are a little bit you know expensive in terms of price range but in terms of what they did with them in terms of the messaging in terms of the inspiration behind the materials used and what they look like there again another cool iteration or example of how to kind of do an art collab but i feel like these by shane oliver really take them up another notch these are really really well done i'd love to see them in hand and i definitely 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 would wear these 100 percent. i feel they look absolutely banging they can't board the way to your flipping knee in terms of the higher ones which i'm obviously a big fan of the blacks i'd wear immediately and i could definitely see kanye sticking his skinny jeans into these and wearing them alongside all the other high boots that he's wearing nowadays i definitely can see that going forward but i love these man i think these look really really cool again maybe i'm in the minority with these and people are going to be shouting at me in the comments in general but i really am a big fan of these um this this is the article courtesy of hypebeast let's of course skip to the second paragraph as per usual featuring two footwear styles the capsule this ugh collaboration between shane oliver includes the low how do you call that armor right sabatons and the tall amorite 
Greaves, appearing in a classic hues of white and black. The shoes are donned with a club-like design with panelled legs and a perforated leather upper and foot fasteners. The shoe comes as complete with an upcycled wool and lyocell sock liner and removable toe cover and outer shaft. Oh, you can remove it all. Interesting. Um, it says he has a quote. I like the idea of playing with a tradition and pushing it to the extreme levels and I guess a huge part of the language I'm extremely pleased to be pursuing. Being able to put this very comfortable thing within the world that I'm building feels interesting. 100% agree. Did they change the sole unit or is that the same sort of soft sole unit that after a few wears completely deteriorates and turns into sponge? I think it's the same one. Um, check out the real the offering and accompanying campaign in the gallery above. The UGG collaboration is now available in UGG stores. Okay, it's available to purchase right now if you want. So definitely go and check those out if you want. But I definitely am a big fan of these. I'm actually curious to see what the price of these is actually. Let's see. Um, UGG. UGG Shane Oliver. Let's see how much these are actually going for. I'm curious to see the price they're going for currently. Oh, it's a pre-launch. They're not available just yet, it looks like. Look, this is, this is a pre-launch, courtesy of the official UGG website. So it looks like Hypebeast lied once again. No fact checking as per usual with that establishment. Yeah, see, they're releasing in six days, they're releasing on the 1st of December. Um, have we got an idea on the price so far? No idea on the price. We have no bloody idea, but for sure they're going to be releasing on the 1st of December so keep an eye out for them if you are interested they will eventually come out and you will be over the moon when you put your feet in them when you put your 